I am David Damon. I'm the writer and director of The Enemies You Keep. My name is Tony Bumgarner. I'm the co-director for The Enemies You Keep. Stan Moore, aka Levi Levy, co-writer, producer. My name is Tony Crespo. I'm the art director. Zachary Holland, casting director. My name is Jennifer Deffenbaugh, and I am an assistant director and producer on The Enemies You Keep. For me, the film is, is basically a chess game, um, and the, the lead character being somebody who is just a pawn. Uh, this is the story of a, of a man who's just made a lot of bad decisions in life, had a lot of bad luck. It's about the main character, Jake. To let a life of crime and disregard for others. My view on it is more or less like everybody has to do what they have to do to survive. And sometimes your sins are sins of survival. I think that this is a story that should easily enrich people that uh, hasn't really been brought out in quite some time and needs to be brought out to society and make people understand that no matter what you do, there are consequences. His evilness is eventually going to collapse. He's always just the pawn. He's being played and instead of uh, taking his environment, taking the situations he, he's he's given and, and working with him and, and doing his own thing, he just goes with it. He goes with the current. He never fights it. And then when he meets death, he seems to stay in his arrogant ways and doesn't, you know, it's like death has no effect on him. And, um, he's tends to stay a tough guy until death breaks him down. But um, at the same time, you know, like he could have taken a positive path, but it, you know, instead he took a negative path and suffered the consequences of it. Uh, it's not glorious, it's not glamorous as far as um, the statement goes, it's honest, and I really like that. What's my relationship with the uh, other team members? Well, to start off with, um, David Damon and myself had worked on a prior project and we worked so well together on set and off set that uh, he felt that it was very valuable to bring me aboard uh, on this particular project. Um, after meeting all the other team members, I, I truly, truly believe that we have very talented and inspiring uh, artists that's come together to collaborate to make this film happen. Um, but, well, number one, it's the team. Um, this group is incredibly thorough, they are incredibly well planned. Um, they are, um, you know, very, very good technically at their craft, um, and they know how to promote themselves, too. Um, this plot project particularly is well thought out, and I just, you know, I, I really, really enjoy these guys, and I just really enjoy, um, you know, the energy of working with this team. I mean, their drive just pushes me even more up. I've worked with a lot of, a lot of different people, and. I think this is probably the strongest group I've ever worked with. Uh, people should invest in this particular group because they're just a little crazy, but they're very creative and um, they're very thorough. Um, they're dedicated, and it's like when they say something is go, something is go. You know, when they um, we make a plan, they execute, and um, it always looks good. We have already gathered all of our resources through our productions. And uh, we have all the tools and people we need to make great films. And our main thing is we want to create jobs. Uh, we want to give back to the community. Um, and we, the only thing holding us back right now is the funding. So if we can find the right people to invest in us, we can create career opportunities here in Columbus, Ohio. This is something really good for the community. Um, a lot of the community is coming together. Great thing about the city. Uh, that we're, we're filming in Columbus. A, l a lot of people love to work together. And uh, this just opens doors. I mean, everything that comes out of this city just helps the city for the most part. Every project, everything. And I, I think people should gather together for the community and to help us out. We're gonna start shooting in March, so between now and March, we need to raise as much money as we can to get um, all our bases covered. The t-shirts, um, the, we're actually, we have a few different designs. Uh, to Tony Crespo, the guy who did the storyboards and a lot of the art, is in it. Giovanni Santiago is doing the screen printing uh, with the graffiti tees. And uh, the t-shirts, like I said, they're, they're just cool looking t-shirts. Uh, we have a lot of other cool stuff. You know, the one at all the way down to one inch buttons, we're selling tickets to the premiere. So everything in it is everything that we're actually giving you, you're not only donating, you're getting something in return that I think people will really actually, you know, enjoy having. 
we all have dreams of being successful, but to us, success is more or less just, you know, creating our art and being happy doing it.